out a note on Uber earlier this week saying you expected Travis Kalanick to stay on. Right. He has <laughs> since resigned. It's It's been a dramatic yeah. couple of days. Excuse me, he's taken a leave of absence, sure. an indefinite leave of absence. What's your reaction? I mean, in fairness, in the note, I did caveat, I could be wrong on this today. <laughs> so I was wrong only one day later. Um, but. I mean, look, the, way, the reason we thought he would stay is because they were able to hire two top lieutenants, even with him there, um, on the leadership side and on the, uh, on the branding, consumer branding side. So that was a positive. And at the same time, you have to think about it, the business, from what we understand, is doing extremely well, even with all these hiccups in the uh, that they, more than hiccups, that's an understatement. Um, <laughs> Pretty big hiccups. Very, very, very big hiccups, um, mountains that they're trying to, you know, climb over. But at the end of the day, the business was doing well. So if Travis does leave, I think the case can be made that why do we need Travis? Because if business will continue to do well since it's such early days, you know, I think he might lose some leverage. So um, I, I can tell you that in, at least employees are probably uh, more inclined to think that he will come back. What are the chances that he actually returns? Well, <laughs> I, I'm personally handicapping it, it against them coming back, but at least from what I hear, um, the, the sentiment is otherwise. Now, David Bonderman of TPG, longtime board member at Uber, as yeah. the Eric Holder report was being read out to employees, he made an off-color remark uh, along the lines of women talk more at board meetings, right. which, by the way, studies show is not true. Men talk more at board meetings, according to the research. He has resigned. How much hope do you have, if these issues are coming from the top down like this, how much hope do you have that the culture at Uber can be improved? Uh, look, the, the good news is that, I, from what I hear, at least this is the first time that employees have started to feel much better about mm -hmm. the prospects from the, the commentary that HR has been making, the new HR lead there. Um, but at the same time, you can see that this is not a Travis-specific issue. You know, this is a much more uh, a fundamental issue across all levels of the company, board level on down to your engineers. So um, I think that there is hope that, look, everyone can change. Um, as long as you, uh, you, know, you address it, you identify it, and you take the appropriate steps to fix it, I mean, why, why can't they improve? So uh, 